Okey, nama saya Syahlan bin Jumaat. Saya sebagai nelayan aa, dan pengusaha kelak alami dan pasar pendekar laut. Di Mukim, Tanjung Kupang, Johor, Malaysia. Cabaran terbesar untuk komuniti nelayan kat sini aa, pertama itu hari COVID. Aa, lepas tu cuaca tak begitu elok. Itu cabaran besar untuk nelayan macam bencana alam tu lah banjir dengan keadaan cuaca ombak kuat dia orang tak dapat pergi laut lah bagi saya kalau macam dari segi income nelayan tu ada naik ada turun lah ada yang dapat ada yang tak dapat asal tu tak menentu okay. pasal peneka laut ni apa ni kita dapat kumpulkan nelayan bersatu dan menjaga kualiti jenis-jenis ikan ketam dengan udang supaya macam perai-perai dia tak boleh suka-suka angkat dengan harga yang murah kita jaga dia punya harga dan apa ni pastikan barang tu berkualiti number one untuk komuniti masyarakat saya harapkan masyarakat kena ada perubahan kita tak boleh macam buang sampah di laut kepastikan kena pastikan setiap masyarakat Walaupun nelayan ataupun bukan nelayan apa apa pun pekerjaannya jangan buang sampah di laut. So my name is uh, Serena Rahman and um, I have been in Mukim Tanjung Kupang since 2008. I first came here in 2007 and then I came back. I fell in love with the seagrass because we have the most beautiful seagrass meadow in all of Malaysia. We set up Club Alami to be able to teach the children of these fishermen Um, about the natural habitat. So for me, really, it was just to teach them about the sea grass and the mangroves and the intertidal mudflats, anything about the sea. For Lan, it was actually to give them a better focus, because in the village, you know, there's a lot of distractions. Some of them are really not good. So he wanted to make these children into good citizens, and he, for him, it was nurturing good people. Kelak alami dengan peneka laut ni uh, bagi saya. Kita ada buat satu program di antara sekolah-sekolah kita mendidik anak-anak muda kepada alam sekitar dan dia mengenal pasti apa ni macam dia ada buat program tanam pokok bakau, jaga kebersihan tentang apa ni alam sekitar tu penting untuk semua sekali lah nelayan pun dan masyarakat semua kena sedar. So then he created this community of young people who were not only able to learn and share about the science also You know, I trained them as citizen scientists and community researchers. So they were collecting information from the elders about the habitats because you know the local people, the the older people, the fishermen. This is where the expertise is. So they were doing the science, uh, but Lan was also making them good citizens. Club Alami is a community organization that lead and run through local visions and facilitated by a network of uh, volunteer scientists. And we also uh, work to enable the community of Mukim Taju Kupang to participate in and benefit and get benefit from the development that has landed upon us through uh, environmental and scientific uh, education. Education and awareness is very important in conservation and it's about community empowerment because uh, we cannot do this alone. We need the community help us together because this is their place. So here we have a uh, mangrove around this area at Mungkin Tanjung Kupang and people have to know uh, that mangrove is very important and they have to help uh, to reduce the degradation of the mangrove itself. Pokok bakau, dia amat penting untuk menjaga macam akesan daripada kena tsunami, bencana alam macam tsunami tu betapa pentingnya yang orang kena tahu Kami kadang-kadang bila ada masa, kami akan jalan-jalan tengok benih-benih bakau yang macam ini kita akan tanamkan dia dekat polybag aktiviti untuk nelayan yang tim, daripada tim pasar pendekar laut lah And this whole community is helping to document the wilding of this island. So our mangrove rescue plan, when people buy the saplings, we plant it on Forest City Island with the school community, the Forest City community involved. And the foreign residents who live in Forest City, they're actually looking for activities like this. And they're so excited, they come and they slosh around in mud that's so difficult to walk in and they plant. And, and through that, they feel a sense of ownership. 
And then with our training, the, the children in the school come down and monitor the planting that we have. So it's not just planted for PR purposes. It is actually a tool for the children in the school to monitor, to study the growth, to study the settlement. My favorite thing I think that uh, I've done so far working with Kalabalami is uh, mangrove planting. I was able to learn a ton of skills, like I was able to learn how to identify different mangrove tree species, how to run community events, and like how to interact with people. I think if we, we just do nothing, our next generation have nothing to see, doesn't have uh, the advantage to see the nice view of our sea, the nice view of our special habitat here. And actually the mangrove itself helps on fighting the climate change. Lately I've been considering being an environmental engineer. Although um, the population's been increasing a lot lately, so I think kind of engineering towards the environment would be very good. I enjoy giving guides the most because when you're really on guides, you can see people like light up when you see them, like exotic animals, you see all these different creatures that they've never seen before. I'm talking to them, giving them guides, making sure they understand like what's the importance of this habitat in our bigger ecosystem, making sure they understand, okay, so this is what you can do here, this is what you can do here. Like don't throw trash here because it will harm all the animals here. And the developer has been so supportive with this program. They give us manpower. The first planting that we had, the landscaping guys also helped to carry and plant. Uh, they provide free lorries, free transport to bring the saplings over. You know, they provide tents. You know, they, they're so supportive with this program. This is all value, not cash, but it is making sure that our knowledge is shared with visitors, because there are a lot of visitors, with the residents that are here. And this then, makes this effort to conserve the habitats, our seagrass habitats, it helps more people be aware. It helps the residents understand, oh, we have something really important here and we all need to work together with the developer to protect it. Of course, the biggest issue is change. Everywhere there is change, but you know, there's little support for the community that has to undergo this change. And that's why Club Alami had to be born, right? Because we're helping the community cope with development. You cannot stop development, but you should, instead of sitting back and waiting for assistance or, you know, being confrontational and protesting, this doesn't work. So historically, before Singapore and Malaysia split, the people in this community used to paddle across to Singapore. They were all one people. Sekarang macam kat laut, kadang-kadang ada satu kawasan tu, dia tak boleh nak masuk. Contoh, kadang-kadang kita tak tahu area kawasan Singapura dengan Malaysia. Tak ada dia punya macam apa ni, wave dia. Nelayan tak ada, tahu tu semua. The impacts on the environment is that our strait is very narrow and reclamation occurs on both sides. So the fishermen are affected by impacts from both sides. Um, of course, both sides also work together to mitigate this. But for the fishermen, the sea is getting smaller. And there are many, many reclamation projects and many new developments, even without reclamations, that restrict where they can fish. So, you know, for, for me personally, the fishermen are the endangered species here. Menurut saya, alam sekitar ni penting untuk semua orang. Untuk generasi yang akan datang, betapa pentingnya menjaga alam sekitar ni. If you have any organisation that is regarding for environment. You can join them and learn from them and what you can do to learn to protect the environment of, your, of the world. Kepada ni lah, macam pembangunan terlalu banyak atau salah satunya uh, kesan hasil tu kurang. Dan satu lagi, yang mana customer-customer, kawan-kawan, dia tak tahu yang niat saya untuk membantu kawan-kawan saya dapatkan harga yang baik dan menjaga kualiti yang dia tak tahu. Dia selalu cakap mahal-mahal tetapi dia tak tahu kita menjual barang apa ni kualiti number one. This is your space. This is your home for a period of time. Take ownership of it. You know, help the community because you must be part of this community as well and support each other to share about this space. Use your voice. These international school kids are the ones who in future will make big decisions. They need to make those decisions wisely using the information and taking um, into consideration the community, the local communities who are not as well off and who suffer first if anything happens to it. Mm -hmm.